You need to be around people who are looking at life in a much bigger way. And when you're around those kind of people, what tends to happen is that goals start changing. So when Princess Jasmine is in that castle, all she can see is the city, how she's always seen it, because she's basically been a prisoner in that castle. When she went up on the carpet with Aladdin on the flying carpet, she saw the city in a different light. And my point is that when you have a different view, when you're a different vantage point, things change. So the people who are going to lift you up, so you need to be around people who are looking at life in a much bigger way. And when you're around those kind of people, what tends to happen is that you start seeing your goals start changing. I told you last week about the story when I started working with my million dollar coach. So I walked into this room, right? So then I walk in this room and I'm feeling pumped because I'm around all these other people, millionaires, billionaires who are making so much. And then my coach just said to me, well, Mahmood, uh, why are you here? And I said, look, the reason I'm here is because at the moment I'm selling coaching programs, but I'm not selling them for very much. And they're one on one and I'm not making much out of it. And normally, on normal, they ought to sell like two, three, four, five hundred pounds. But this time I was playing this massive game, right? Because I had all these other people around me playing this huge game. I said, you know, I'm going to sell it for 10,000, 10,000 pounds. That's how much my program is going to cost. I'm going to have 10 people in a room, 10,000 pounds each. And I want 10 people in a room and that's how much it's going to be. And do you know what happened? Two people in the room put their hand up and said, Mahmood, we're in. And normally when I would have been happy with like $500, $1,000 a day, $1,000 pounds a day. Now, like I just sold two seats for, for 20,000 a day, right? 20,000 over two days. I was like, wow, how did this happen? Right? But the only way that happened is because number one, I started getting out of my comfort zone. I started to hang around other people who are doing so much better than me. Just like when Princess Jasmine sat on that carpet and she saw the city from a different vantage point, I started seeing my life from a different vantage point because I was around people who were playing a much bigger game than me. You need to up your game, be around people who are gonna grow you, find people, be around them and make sure that you live that game at the highest level you can right so that was my first my first takeaway from there i don't believe in fake it till you make it i believe in faith it till you make it right have the faith in yourself that you can do it aladdin says that when you don't have anything act like you've got everything and when that happened, I was thinking like, what does that mean, right? So I always say there's this belief cycle, which I said last time, that here you've got um, human potential, which is unlimited. Over here, you've got action, the action you need to take in life. Over here, you've got results. And over here, you've got your belief. Imagine if you change your belief, right? Imagine if your belief today was that I can make so much money during this time because I know that I can go out and serve people. Even if it's not money, I know that I can go with the business. I can, I can develop my ecosystem. I can get so many more leads into my business right now. Right now, it's the cheapest time to acquire any leads. Facebook ads, half the price. Instagram ads, half the price. Everything is just down, down, down. Isn't this the best time to market when most people aren't marketing? This is the time when you should be ramping up your market. By the time you finish these, these three, four weeks, so many more people around the world should know about you. Okay? Don't take money out of marketing. This is the time when you need to go in the most. So when you have that belief that I've got something to give, something to serve, something to really help the world with right now, what potential do you tap into? You start tapping into a huge amount of potential, right? When you tap into a huge amount of potential, what action do you start taking? You start taking massive action. Yeah, you may start waking up at 5.30 a.m. You may start reading those books, listening to those videos, getting a mentor, getting a coach, investing in yourself. And then once you do that, what kind of results do you get? You get massive results. And when you get massive results, what happens to your beliefs? Like, yeah, I can do this. I don't believe in fake it till you make it. I believe in faith it till you make it, right? Have the faith in yourself that you can do it. There's two points to that. The number one, if you're faking it or faithing it till you make it, because having that faith or faking it allows you to overcome your own insecurities and allows you to believe you're that person, great, do that, do that all the time. But if you're trying to faith it till you make it or fake it till you make it to hide a bad part of your character, then that's not going to work. So the journey that you have to do is understand why are you facing it or faking it till you make it? Is it because that you have some insecurities in you right now, which you need to get past? And if you do, great, keep doing that. But if it's because you've got a character uh, fault that you've got a trait that was not good in you, then that's something which you need to change. Okay, That is so important. Use this to get out of your own insecurities.